What you want as a creative is experience. That routine is super important. That's what makes you a freaking ninja at what you do. Good morning, it's Wednesday morning. I decided that I wanted to shoot a day in the life today because it's been a hot minute since I've done that. So you guys are gonna come into the office with me today. Uh, I kinda am excited that I'm starting this day in the life back in the car. This is my favorite way to start a day in the life. I just get to dump what's on my mind before I get into the office. You guys are gonna come, you're gonna see part of the shit show I was just talking about. I'm just saying, that's one of the things that's the hardest thing about interior design is that it is such a deadline-based business. Every single time a project goes into construction, people saying like, if I don't get the doors and windows shop drawings reviewed, I can't get the guy into measure and I can't finish drywalling and I need to do this now. And imagine what that's like when you're juggling four, five, six, eight, ten, sixteen projects sometimes and you've got all of this pressure and that's why interior designers burn out all the time because they can't handle the pressure and they can't handle all the deadlines. And it's also a very thankless job. Not that I expect to be like thanked or kudos or all of that stuff, but you're not just going, oh, I had a beautiful Sunday and the sun is out and imagine if we did this and this and that and the creative juices are flowing. It's not like that. It's like you sign a project on Monday morning and you're expected to deliver on creativity by Friday. So you're having to be creative on demand and then you have a ton of pressure to execute. It doesn't go away, it stays the same. And that's a very difficult aspect of the job. What I was just thinking right then and there is I'm like, I gotta forward the architect's email to Kelsey so that she can review the shop drawings. I gotta forward the millwork drawings from the architect to Kelsey so that she can review it. I have to pass along an engineer to Christy so that she can touch base with him about lighting plans. Because if I go into my next meeting and I'm tied up for an hour and a half, then we basically lose the whole morning. That is the sense of urgency. It's insane. It cannot wait another hour and a half. It has to happen now. Gonna make a coffee. You're good? I'm good. Robbie and I are gonna jump into our bi weekly financials meeting and go over all of the company financials, how the business is performing, what's going on. This is my way of staying on top of how we're doing business wise. Christy, you did a really good job yesterday. So, we went into a uh, presentation, a meeting yesterday for a new project, not a new client, and we're designing 98 units in two buildings, rental condos. Mm -hmm. So we presented yesterday and Christy, I mean from the first time that you presented to this time, <laughs> was there a, big difference? a huge difference. Really? <laughs> a huge difference just even in like confidence, mm -hmm. ability to communicate. Okay, one moment please. Okay, we gotta go anyways. Okay. But I can give you some tips if you want some. Yeah, okay, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, cool. Already past 11.30, which is crazy. Karen, how's your day like? Um, busy. Why? Well, I just kind of wanted to touch base on that. If it's just quick, like I'm just going to grab a salad for lunch, and then if you're okay just to yeah. chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got a little bit of time blocked off in my calendar where I'm going to sit down, do some business development. So I'm going to reach out to new clients. Looks like we might have a new job on the books, which is really exciting, and some potential work coming up. So I'm gonna do all of my business development emails and calls right now. doing it the Thursday because you're going to be out of town Monday, Tuesday. 
Can you just send the meeting request? Yeah. You know what? The reason why I just ask for the meeting request just to be sent is because my schedule is, it's like Tetris. And so whenever someone asks me, hey, can we do it at this time? If it's like urgent, I need to like think, I need to like move a whole bunch of things around. Yeah. It's never like a quick, you do know what yeah. I mean? It's, it's always hard for me to be like, yes, that totally works or no, it doesn't work. Cause there's so many, it's like a domino effect. Yeah. So it's, easier if it just comes into my inbox as a meeting request because yeah, totally then when I have the time to look at it I can like figure out what we need to what do we need to, yeah that's fine I guess just want to give you that heads up if that meeting's not going to be tomorrow okay it's going to be for next week it's going to be so for next week okay you just have to shuffle that's fine yeah no and problem the other thing that I was actually going to just mention you what's happening a little bit is that there's so much floating into my inbox yeah. floating in that's irrelevant that now I'm like I literally do a quick scan of the first line yeah. and then I'm like important important not important important not important and that's why like half the time when you're like did you see that email I'm like no I know <laughs> because there's just so much that floats in I totally agree and I've been keeping that in mind yeah <laughs> I'm trying to remove you from it I'm at that stage in a project where, so normally all the really good projects, I'll get to a stage where I'm like, oh my God, I hate it. I hate all the decisions we made. This is terrible. <laughs> and that will happen earlier or later in a project. But every time it happens, I'm like, oh my God, no, I genuinely, I'm like, did we do enough? Did we design enough? Is there enough going in? But I'm sure once it's done, hopefully that's just indicative that it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Jumping into another meeting. Yes. Jill is here. Okay, we are looking at wallpaper because Jill is helping me put together a what will hopefully be a wallpaper line very very soon, right? Yes. So she's been developing the first print, which is the palm print, and it's going into my place, my bathroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your hair looks good. Is it lighter? Uh, no, I just blow dried it. Oh, nice. Yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> yeah. I feel like hair that length would be so easy to maintain. Oh, it is. You just scrunch and go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, this morning I had a hair disaster. I couldn't, I couldn't, I could not get my hair into a proper messy bun. I took it me 10 times to get it into a messy bun. It's like, it's, it doesn't? <laughs> it doesn't even look messy. It doesn't even look messy. <laughs> So after today, like, what are we going to accomplish today? Uh, today, hopefully narrow down the whole thing. Okay. And just pick a section for us to do the test prints. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited to see progress. So these are the four patterns. Mm -hmm. I, th I think that all the illustrations are like really amazing. Mm -hmm. This one, I was first drawn to right away because like I like that one, and mm -hmm. I still it's still my favorite even after seeing all of them. Yeah. And I think just overlaying the pattern rather than mm. making it all look separate. Like a yes, stance. for sure. <laughs> and I like that there's shape in the leaves, so movement, and then like big kind of cut pieces and then the leaves feel a little bit square and a little bit jagged. So I like that a lot. My one thing, I still would love it to read a little bit more tropical. Mm. Remember how we were saying last time it almost looks like it needs to, like the weeds need to come out? Mm -hmm. Like it looks like palms and then we need to like weed it <laughs> this is not easy guys no, it it's not easy we've done many iterations are we making up a plant if we do this it's custom it's, yeah it's <laughs> exactly what if we were to make this like a, even a little bit taller because i like things that look a little like quirky or a little odd 
I feel like it's charming if it's kind of not perfect. But before we move on, so we're gonna do a little bit taller branches, mm -hmm. fuller leaves, more trunk-like, less weed-like, yeah. yeah. and then quirky. I wonder if it's a matter of even just changing some of the leaves so they are more fuller in the way they're falling. Mm-hmm. Like even that already looks more palm-like. You know how like some are lifting, some are falling, some are on the right, some are on the left. So there's a there's a nice sense of like balance mm -hmm. to it, which I think is great. But I think if we can make it a little bit more, I don't know why I keep doing that. <laughs> it's like a dance move. Flowy. Yeah. <laughs> it's part yeah. of the process. It's, it is. It's part of the process. Part of the artistic process. Is that good feedback? Mm -hmm. Is that enough feedback? Yeah? No worries. Um, what? How did that 50 minutes go by that fast? That was an hour. How did that go by that fast? I'm going to be away for a few days. So we could meet next Wednesday. Okay. It'll be a week. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Stacey, I'm wondering if we should just do a quick cheers. Yeah, I think we should. I know. Do you want to go outside? <laughs> We're going to go after. Christy, are you okay with that? Okay. Do you have to leave right at 5? By 5.30, Joe and I are going to go dance. Go hip-hop dancing. Oh, sweet. <laughs> well, you know what? You learned a new move today. Five, six, seven, eight. Just sit and just move. Those are big milestones. <clears throat> yeah. Right? Her. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I guess so. You haven't had a dance before. To celebrate one year. I cannot believe how fast that's gone by. We're in the office. Stacy behind me is opening a bottle of champagne. That's actually the only time you're ever on my social media. Is when you're <laughs> <laughs> so we're celebrating two one-year work anniversaries. Christy has been here for officially one year as of yesterday. And Diane officially won year on Saturday too. Yay. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. 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 Congrats, you guys. One year. Holy smokes. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Speech. Do you want to be on my YouTube channel? This is the best landlord ever. This is a pretty good channel. <laughs> pretty good. No, <laughs> that's okay. Pretty good. That's fair. That's <laughs> okay. Well, have a good afternoon. Bye. What I'm just thinking, I do need to make a phone call. Got to make sure that I've got the numbers right in my head. It's Karen calling from House of Bond. This is in regards to the interior design proposal. We did receive an acceptance letter and I just wanted to, we've been playing phone tag today. I just had a couple questions. Okay, great. Thank you. 4.30 and I still have one more meeting to jump into. What's been on my mind is the idea of doing what you love and what that means, what that actually means. I think today people have this idea that you're gonna be able to find your passion and do your passion. And you're gonna be able to do that every day, all day long. And life is gonna be amazing and work is gonna be amazing. And you're never gonna get bored. You're never gonna do anything that you don't wanna do. You're just gonna do what you love. <laughs> and my opinion on that is that's kinda False, it's kind of false. That's my opinion, it's just my opinion. You might think something else. But as an example, Marie Forleo, I don't know if any of you guys watch her. She has an amazing YouTube channel. Her channel is all about serving other people, helping them build their business and a life that they love. That's her tagline. We will link her in the description box in case you are interested in checking out her channel. I highly recommend it her view that it doesn't matter what you do or how much you're doing what you love there's still a certain amount of shit sandwich 
that you are going to have to eat in order to do what you love. Hi. Hi. Oh. 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 Esther, Esther. <laughs> Do I want to have to answer the hundreds of emails that float into my inbox every day? No. Do I want to write proposals every other day? Not really. Do I want to do HR meetings? No. Do I want to go from meeting to meeting to meeting to meeting without any breathing room? No, not really. But I do it because I love my company. I love what I'm building. I love my team. I love the work that we do. And there's a certain amount of shit that I have to do in order to make that happen and that's just the reality. So I don't know if any of you guys are ever getting bummed out about you know not loving every single part of your day but the one thing I want to say is that is completely normal. What is it? Do you want it? Do you want it? <laughs> oh no 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 don't not the ball. He's a total ball thief. If he comes by, will you just grab his collar? <laughs> this might just take me a few minutes, but it doesn't look like you guys are in a hurry to go anywhere, so it'll totally happen. Yes! Yes! Thank you. Ask him this, you want treat? Thanks for the treat. <laughs> Have a good afternoon. One more? Okay. Another reason why I've changed to sneakers. <laughs> gotta be able to move, gotta be able to chase my dog. <laughs> I was watching a clip of Oprah because I want you guys to hear this. Not coming from me, coming from Oprah. Like the Oprah. The Oprah. And she was saying, are you going to get bored with your job? Yes. Are you going to feel restless? Yes. Are you going to love every second of it? No. You need to know this. Your job is not always going to fulfill you. There will be some days that you just might be bored. Other days, you may not feel like going to work at all. Go anyway. And remember that your job is not who you are. It's just what you're doing on the way to who you will become. I believe is really embrace the boredom, so to speak. Embrace the routine. And once you're not resisting the routine, all of a sudden you're open to new creative ideas within that routine or within that framework. And I feel like that's where the magic happens because what you want as a creative is experience. That routine is super important. That's what makes you a freaking ninja at what you do is the fact that you have done it over and over and over again, and you're good at it. Nine years. You think you're a ninja? Well, yeah, I'm a ninja. <laughs> shower it looks so good in the master bathroom you're worried that the shower is going to be too small it could, could be too small. it's huge mm -hmm. it's awesome it looks so good and all the casings and moldings look really good too